the oldest woman on death row in the country. Blanche Taylor Moore turns 90 years old Friday and will do so at the North Carolina Correctional Institution for Women in Raleigh. Tonight we're hearing from the man who found the evidence that Blanche Moore was a killer. For more than 30 years, Blanche Taylor Moore has claimed she is innocent and should not be on North Carolina's death row. That the defendant Blanche Taylor Kaiser Moore be sentenced to death. Her appeals, though, have failed, but so far, neither her bout with cancer nor the death penalty have claimed her life. Turning 90 years old, it's more likely nature will take her life rather than lethal injection. North Carolina has not executed anyone since 2006. Moore's case was one that gripped the state, a case that started after her second husband, Reverend Dwight Moore, became severely ill and was hospitalized. He was eventually found to have 20 times the lethal dose of arsenic in his system. Somehow, Reverend Moore managed to survive. He was the lucky one. Investigators soon realized they'd better look back in time, starting with the death of Moore's previous boyfriend, Raymond Reed. You look at the a medical history, and the, the medical history in the case of Mr. Reed was very suspicious for arsenic poisoning. He got violently ill, developed gastroenteritis, uh, later developed um, a neuropathy, a nerve damage, and uh, and it never got better and died. Dr. John Butts was the state medical examiner at the time. Doctors previously thought Raymond Reed had suffered from Guillain-Barre syndrome, which has similar symptoms to arsenic poisoning. Dr. Butts asked the district attorney for permission to exhume Reed's body. We uh, examined uh, Mr. Reed. We found uh, that uh, his tissues contained lethal concentrations of arsenic. Uh, and of course, uh, as earlier mentioned the medical record was pretty classic for uh, repeated episodes of arsenic poisoning and it was a painful death people will um, become very ill vomit develop diarrhea uh, they may develop a rash um, and then uh, maybe a week or two later they'll develop neurological signs testing proved that reed was slowly poisoned the fact that it persisted for something like four months uh, of course indicated that uh, if he if his death was due to poisoning, it had occurred on multiple occasions, it just, just not just one episode, because if it had been just one episode, he would have died from it. And how did Dr. Butts know? Reed's hair. When strands of hair were tested, you could see the timeline of arsenic exposure. And just like Reverend Moore, investigators believed the woman who would become known as the Black Widow gave Raymond Reed arsenic-laced food and drink while in the hospital. Now the exhumation of one body wasn't enough. Then began a process of sort of examining uh, all the folks that, as they used to joke about it, were deceased and had had something to do with Blanche. Former husband James Taylor was soon exhumed. So was her father, P.D. Kaiser Sr., and her mother-in-law, Isla Taylor. The hair from all of them showed high levels of arsenic. Only the last exhumed body, that of Blanche Moore's former co-worker, Joseph Mitchell, showed the death to be natural. The Alamance County District Attorney chose to focus his case on the murder of Moore's boyfriend, Raymond Reed. Three years after his excruciating death from arsenic poisoning, a jury found Blanche Taylor Moore guilty, and the judge sent her to death row. Now retired, Dr. Butts has provided the medical facts and evidence for countless murder cases. He remembers a lot of them, and the case of Blanche Taylor Moore is no exception. Because it did involve uh, a, a complicated case, multiple, um, obviously, exhumations, arsenic poisoning, so, uh, again, one that one would not forget. Wow. Yeah, I don't forget it. I, you know, it was a TV movie, mm. you know, many years ago. So, you know, while arsenic was found in other people close to Moore, Dr. Butts could definitively say that arsenic killed Raymond Reed. So that's why the case centered around Raymond Reed. After exchanging several emails with her attorney, requests for interviews, we were denied. Fascinating story. And to all these bodies that had to be exhumed just yeah. to re-examine and the trauma for the families as well. Absolutely. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I just scratched the surface on the details of how twisted this whole story wow. is. What Pretty incredible, story. right? Yeah. All right, Russ, thanks.